Well, folks, uh, welcome to the week. And I just had a wonderful Shabbat in Aleppo, Syria. Uh, not actually in Aleppo, it was not really in Flatbush in Brooklyn, but I could have very well been in Aleppo because what an amazing community. I spent Shabbat as scholar in residence at the Syrian Jewish community who are primarily from Aleppo in Syria. They call it Halav, uh, which actually uh, means milk. And there is a legend that uh, it is the place that Abraham, when he had his sheep there uh, grazing, he actually milked them and gave the milk to the poor. And hence it was called Halav milk, uh, but currently called Aleppo. We cannot confirm that legend, obviously, but the Jews have been there. Uh, we can confirm from numerous sources Jews have been in Aleppo uh, since the Roman period. So that means about 2,000 years. There seems to be ample evidence also that they were there from the Greek period, meaning 2,300 years ago. And there is a legend mentioned by a rabbi from Regensburg who visited Aleppo, who claims that the uh, Jews in Aleppo were actually there from the time of Yoav. Yoav was the head of the army of King David. And as you might know, King David conquered Syria um, and uh, uh, established, according to this, Yoav established a Jewish community in Aleppo in the time of King David. So we are talking about an ancient, verifiably ancient Jewish community and possibly uh, even more ancient than is verifiable pretty amazing. The community had magnificent synagogues, had uh, an incredible schools, had a thriving community until, of course, the modern period, 1948, there were massive riots. The Syrian government uh, cracked down on the Jewish presence and the vast majority of Jews left Syria forever. Uh, many of them going to the state of Israel, but many of them uh, coming to the United States and establishing a beautiful community. And one of the most beautiful aspects of this community was, as I was sitting there during prayers, and by the way, in the main synagogue, there's about a thousand people. And that's one of about 12 different services held in that complex. I spoke at three of them. and uh, But when I closed my eyes and listened to 800 or so people singing in the traditional tunes of the Syrian community with the traditional Syrian Jewish pronunciation in the traditional Syrian custom of prayer, I close my eyes and I imagine myself back in the great synagogue of Aleppo, maybe 400, 300, 500 years ago, with thousands of Jews there singing those same tunes and those same songs. And it's an inspiring and amazing concept that the chain of tradition of the Jewish people is so strong and sometimes you can feel it stronger than in other places. Sometimes you can have an experience that really carries you back a thousand, two thousand, three thousand years. I had that experience over Shabbat. It was an amazing thing and uh, also gave me optimism that maybe the whole scholar and residence uh, live classes is opening up a bit in this towards the end of COVID, God willing. Have a wonderful Shabbat. This is Mordechai Becher, or Shabbat. Uh, Mordechai Becher with the Gateways, Parashat Vlog.